of the tape for our co-main event of the evening. Brought to you by the new movie, Hands of Stone. The true story behind boxing's greatest rivalry. Starring Edgar Ramirez, Robert De Niro, and Usher Raymond in theaters everywhere. Friday, the Brazilian, four years the elder of Rumble, who will have a slight reach advantage once again. The official introductions from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 25 wins, four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Danbury, Connecticut, by way of Sobralia, Minas to Rice, Brazil, presenting the number two ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Glover Teixeira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 21 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, by way of Dublin, Georgia, presenting the number one ranked USC light heavyweight contender in the world, Anthony! And when the action begins, our referee is in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Co-main event of the evening. Winner. Get a chance to fight DC. Rumble. To Shira. Here we go! Blue trunks for Anthony Johnson. Yellow trunks for Glover to Shira. Glover putting his... pressure on him right yep. away. Interesting. Oh, my! Just like that! Good Lord. Wow! Good Lord, that is a terrifying man. Be careful what you ask for, folks. Glover does not know what's happening. He's wrestling with Dan Mergliata. He thinks the fight is still going on. I, they shouldn't let him stand up here. I do not think he understands that he got knocked out. Wow. Good Lord. Tight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. Wow. Let's take a look at that again. Boom. Boom. The lights go out. And Rumble drops a hammer. Man. Proving again, Joe, that he is a different kind of dangerous. Yeah, there's a, there's a level. There's a level that he's at that no one else is at. It's a I touch you, you go to sleep level. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't take a few shots and, you know, I mean, the only one who's been able to is Cormier. I mean, give props to Daniel Cormier because who's got a chin like that guy? My God. And then you see Glover out cold wakes up and tries to grapple with Dan Mergliata, like thinks the fight is still going on, just on pure instinct. Wow. That's a terrifying man. No one's been able to do that to Glover. Absolutely not. I mean, oh, unbelievable power. Let's take a look at the entire fight. And you see Glover putting that pressure on him right away. Glover moving forward, bobbing and weaving. Glover catching him a couple times, and one shot is all it takes. My God. What a terrifying human being. Boom! Perfectly placed uppercut. We'll see it one more time here after this hammer fist. I mean, just stiff.
Rumble, the first man to stop Glover Teixeira inside the octagon. And the reaction of the corner of Anthony Johnson.